It's about passion, it's about conviction. If you have that, and most people do, I think you can be an excellent nonprofit leader. Uh, I've really had an amazing privilege of meeting many of the uh, nonprofit leaders through the Oklahoma City community, especially, and it's thrilling. <clears throat> I mean, it, I am so privileged, and I think we're so fortunate as a city that we have so many folks that want to make a difference and help our city. And to me, that's what this is about. How can we help? House Fields and Futures was created with a singular focus and a singular purpose of supporting Oklahoma City Public Schools athletics and fulfilling this mission and this vision to give more children and students the opportunity to be involved in sports if that's what they want to do. And then he's just so tenacious in accomplishing that vision. There's a lot of people who will cast vision, there's a lot of people who will say that they're doing things, Tim's a doer. He knows how to put teams together. He knows how to get things done. Part of a vision is getting people to, to understand what you're trying to, to do and accomplish, and he does that so very well. One of the best experiences about being involved with the nonprofits has been the opportunity to get to meet many of the, the leaders that are currently out there and have been there. Uh, I've learned a ton from them, but it's just thrilling to know there's so many good folks out there that are working so diligently to improve life in Oklahoma City. They're so welcoming, they're so helpful, and uh, it, they're really inspirational. So I'm just thrilled that the, our city has this core of people that, that their lives are dedicated to making our city better and helping others that uh, can use the assistance. Congratulations, Tim. We've only just begun. And I am so appreciative for all that you've done to impact the lives of thousands of kids in our district.